We are at Rabati Castle today. Uh, down by in Georgia down by the Turkish border and uh, our intrepid guide is with us today uh, along with Tanya Nika and Say hello. Here, and there is Nika our, uh, our, our Tanya reminded me of the steps we're about to go up no problem oh yeah So Nika, can you tell us a little bit about what what well, is this whole complex? What's okay, kind of the history place, behind it? We call this place Rabati Castle. Now, right now we are in a city with the name Achal Tsihe. If you translate in English, the name of the city in English is the New Castle. And it's very easy to pronounce. It's Achal Tsihe. Achal Tsihe. And why is this here in the first place? Sorry? Why is this castle and structure here in the first place? Who is, who is defending... Oh, against it has who? a huge history, a huge history. This place, exactly the city, comes from the 9th century. But a castle comes from the 13th centuries. Okay. And this one was a kind of the trade center and strategical center as well. It was trade center because uh, I told us that we are close to the border to Turkey. And this place was kind of the trade. Yeah, because it looks very Turkish. Yeah, it looks the... very Turkish as well. Okay. And in 2011, government of Georgia and Turkey, they together decided to to rebuild the castle because uh, after 1827 when we bring this place it was very destroyed and the castle previously was also much bigger and in 2011 uh, they started to rebuild the castle and they finished everything after one year in 2012. So here is the mosque uh, inside the Rabat Castle complex. And um, as uh, our guide told us, uh, this was modeled after the Hagia Sophia in uh, Istanbul. So this uh, courtyard, of course, is Ottoman architecture and is very uh, reminiscent of uh, the Alhambra in uh, Granada, Spain. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's go up here and see what else we can find. This would also be a great uh, prison or dungeon, I suppose, if you, if you wanted. Lovely Tanya and I are going to go up these stairs again, see if we can kill ourselves. Okay, here we are. Tanya, you want to go down here? See what we can, yeah. we can find. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Another more. fireplace. Another fireplace. A lot of empty rooms. Okay. All right. More of the same. Okay. Tanya, you think you think we've seen enough of this kind of thing? Well, yeah. Yeah. It looks all the same. <laughs> but it's very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Good. Well, as part of this whole complex, there is a, a museum that's full of artifacts from excavations around the fortress area. And they go back to as far as 2,000 years before Christ. And it, it's just incredible. That well, we have uh, gotten to the town of, I'm going to have to look at it again, but I think it's Astra... Astra Astravina. Or Zena. Something like that. Anyway, we are deep into southern Georgia, uh, very close to the Turkish border, and then a little ways over the Armenian border. But uh, let me just show you 
what it looks like here. Uh, we're getting ready to have a wonderful Georgian lunch. This whole area, there are parts of it that remind us of Oregon, there are parts that remind us of Nevada. Uh, any other places, Tanya? It's just amazing. I mean, it's just, uh, and yet it's very unique uh, in its own. It's a very, uh, it's a very nice place to be. Okay, we're sitting down for lunch and Nika uh, has recommended this particular dish, which we've ordered, which I call it, what's your hurry? But it's not called what's your hurry? It's called, what's your hurry? Right? Watch a hoodie. So there you go. And, and of course, the uh, ubiquitous uh, cucumber and tomato salad, which looks very good, and some Georgian bread. And then we're going to be having a little bit of uh, kinkali, which is one of my favorites. The best. The best. Okay, we're at Vardzia, and we're about ready to enter the cave complex after we hike up to uh, uh, where this begins, up there by that bell tower, if you can. Okay, so we've made it just about up to the top and uh, there's the bell tower and then you can see below uh, the cave complex which is you know from this vantage point is very similar to uh, Mesa Verde uh, National Park in uh, Colorado where uh, the Indians uh, lived or you know the well, they weren't Hopi but they were they were ancient people uh, that lived uh, in these cave dwellings so let's just go see how this compares why we call this place Barzia yeah. No. No. Why is okay. it called? I don't know. Uh, if we translate exactly in English, Wardia means here, uncle. But it's quite unclear and I will try to explain everything exactly. Making our way down the hill, we went through the cave complex up there and it uh, truly was amazing. There was about a 200 meter down through a tunnel, a cave tunnel that we went through. And a lot of those steps are hundreds, hundreds of years old. Uh, it was truly amazing. At, at its height, about 50,000 people lived in this entire complex, but what we see here is only just a very small portion of uh, what remains. Part of it had collapsed from earthquakes and the rest from uh, foreign invaders, particularly the Mongols in about the, I believe it was about the 14th century. Tanya wants me to be sure and point out where we came from. We were up there, walked up to that bell tower up there and then through the complex, up even higher, up through there, up through all of these different caves and it was, uh, it was truly amazing. Good for us. Well, Tanya and I are back in the parking lot getting ready to leave and uh, we are sweating like pigs. But I'm it, not. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Tanya is glo I, Tanya is glowing, and I am perspiring profusely because <laughs> of the exercise, and it's quite humid. Uh, but our uh, verdict on uh, the Vardzia uh, cave complex is that it, compared to Mesa Verde in Colorado, um, first of all, it's about ten times bigger, at least, uh, than the Mesa Verde one, and um, you can it's accessible. Yes, uh, uh, we, we got to walk through it. And much more built in the 12th century yeah and much more complex there's even a, a church up there that's part of it that's still used yeah. it's amazing okay bye that's it for now